Like too. I mean, look at this, bro. This is actually insane. This looks like it hasn't been cleaned. And other than that, don't get much more wild than where we're at right now. <laughs> How are we doing, folks? Welcome back to the channel. My first video in weeks, actually. I just got finished being extremely sick. Came out of nowhere. You know, I'm 31 years old. When you start to get really sick past 30, it just, it's frightening. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it's not a good feeling. I was very sick. Couldn't do anything bedridden for like four days first day where i'm feeling like i can actually get out and do something is today so that's the goal we're out here in westlake we're going to travel southbound for dude right off camera there was just a, almost a car accident i don't know what today has in store but that's probably not the best sign other than that not much news just back to uh beautiful sunny la happy to be out on my bike the ultra b giveaway is just about over I'm, this is the last few times i'll be able to remind you guys if you haven't got your entries in yet hicksfam.com every one dollar spent automatically considers you to win this Suron ultra b my personal bike you already know i'll spare you the details but lower 48 states up to 500 entries per person per household so if you're four people in a house you can all enter i'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take to draw the winner but the second the winner is drawn i will be announcing it in the video i'm hoping it's a week or so within april 15th and maybe two weeks so you guys are gonna have to sit tight i'll announce in the video first then we're gonna get in contact with you dude what is going on on the street man people are just wilding out right here uh, so stay tuned to the channel if you are entered to win that bike uh, it's really exciting I, this is the first thing i've done like this in many years so i just want you guys to all be a part of it if you want to if not that's fine anyways Suron, lime green streets la let's see what's out there let's go all right, folks, gorgeous day today. We got double palm trees to start the day. Can't beat that. What will today have in store? Well, there's only one way to find out. That's by getting out and seeing. Oh, my. That was my life flashing before my eyes right there. Y'all good? You need some help? Okay, all right. No worries. It's the beginning to the day. Almost got murked. They didn't want help. And also, I'm not really a big a fan of touching a mattresses like that that was a wake-up call right there i just oh man what do you even say to that situation you know almost got obliterated to start the day that just like it took me from up here to just down here i was like whoa man that could have been my life right there i would have got absolutely tossed if that car hit me we we're going eh, kind of slow I was, I was moving at about 20 miles an hour but oh, man you know i've been riding bmx for a long time and i've had so many close calls like that where it's like uh you know inches away from getting absolutely demolish and uh you know i kind of live my life by the times that i haven't been hit compared to those that i have i just haven't really been hit ever so a lot of people think you know it's only a matter of time i don't know i don't know anyways whew, we're just gonna shake that off we're gonna shake it off we're gonna shake it off we're gonna shake it off we're gonna keep moving and keep moving we're barely getting started today that was uh not really how i had today planned to be started off but you know beggars can't be choosers and i'm just out here riding so uh let's try not to have any more close calls shall we I do want to do this descent right here. This looks fun. I did a tiny little bit of bike maintenance finally. I got my wheels trued so the bike feels nice. Shout out to GNK Bike Shop in North Hollywood. That's the only shop that I know that will even entertain the idea of working on my Suron. There's a cat in there, Jose. He'll happily do small things like tube exchanges, inner tube exchanges. You know, he always tried to change an inner tube on a Suron nose. It's pretty difficult. It's not like a bicycle. So I drop it off, he gets it done within 30 minutes, an hour. I go get some food. Symbiotic relationship we got going on over there, you know? Anywho. Ooh. Out here in LA today, I don't exactly even know where we're going. I just was, you know, it's time to get back out in the streets. I feel good enough to ride today. So that's kind of the whole goal is just to get out and maybe explore some cuts we haven't really been through on a Suron. I don't know. See what's going on in the streets basically that one close call just has me awoken man that was just oof very few things will get the blood going like that you guys wonder why i stay on the sidewalk going two miles an hour well, that's a pretty good example of why they got a good situation going on right here dude when i was driving down here there's a swarm of bees on the freeway i never seen anything like it i was like wow if this was the one time i had had my windows down uh, i would have been having a pretty bad day <laughs> probably <laughs> luckily i didn't but anyways we're just tooling around out here and Westlake right now. We're about to cut down south. Oh. So on life. Oh god, this grass is wet. Oh, that's not good. That means wet tires. Let's go ahead and slow it down for a second. First day back. I just want to be horseplay, man. I'm out here just wilding around. <laughs> what is going on? Car alarms. Okay, we actually are just speeding around right now. I want to turn around and go down this street I just saw. We're approaching Westlake. So that's kind of the overall area we're going to be in today. We may go a little further south. I really don't know what's on the agenda. I just want to be outside. 
Oh, that's like a secret. <laughs> Dude, that was actually sketch. It's like a secret pothole he couldn't see. I think I'm riding through these right now. Some type of, some type of, uh, that was a person sitting right there, wasn't it? Oh. Saran off-roading part, uh, oh, one for today. Ooh, this would be a big drop to go off of. It'd actually be kind of easy if we had momentum, which we don't. Ooh. So some of you guys have been commenting saying I've been popping up on your TikTok. Yeah, I just suddenly, it's because they have this program that I entered. It's funny, before I entered the, the like, little program that TikTok has, my the videos would get like no views, like 200, 300, 500. But since I entered it, I had something like 4 million, 2 million. I mean, it's just absolutely been blowing up. So if you want to check me out on there, it's John underscore Hicks. It's all old clips, so nothing you haven't seen before. Speaking of old clips, a lot of you guys, I see that you have been voicing your frustration with the hour long videos. Just a pro tip for anyone who views my channel, if you watch every video I drop, when you see that one hour of riding in the title, it's probably gonna be something you've seen before. If you're watching every video I drop, and I know a lot of people are waiting for a new drop and you see that and you're like, oh, come on, I've seen all this before, but just know I understand your frustration. <laughs> Anyways, we're here at MacArthur Park. Let's check it out. Never a dull moment when we get here, so let's see what's going on today. We're actually out much earlier than we usually are as well, so happy about that. Let's see, where shall we go? We will be hitting the stairs. Last time I hit these stairs at full flight, I was drifting down them because my wheels are so out of true. Let's test them today. Oh, perfect. All right, let's get it. Oh, soccer ball. Watch it out for puddles today. That's the last thing I want to run over. We got a bunch of birds. Always slow down for the birds. All right, MacArthur Park. How's it looking today, huh? Just another day in paradise, really. This bike is so quiet, nobody even noticed I was there until I was already pulling off. That's one reason we love the Suron, folks. We sure do. All right, part two. Make Arthur Park run. Oh, the stairs are totally blocked off today. Not happening. Okay, oh, no stair bomb for me. Watching out for birds, they seem uh, <laughs> they're a little uh, a little slow motion today. Okay, dude, I wonder what it's like to see me riding around on this thing from the third person. I always wonder that. I'd love to have someone like film me doing some of my routes, but uh, you know, I'm so scatterbrained when I do these rides in the first place. It's like I don't even I don't even think anyone would want to. Try and keep up with me. I, I do such a, a weird brain dead route. How you doing? Slow it down a little bit. Check out some of these Westlake alleys that we've been through many times, but you know, got to do our checkup. Hey, hey, how you doing? A little bit of grime and, and what's going on, brother? Regular surround things. This guy looks like he just walked out of the hazmat. <laughs> Probably painting if I had to guess. He had the, the bags on his shoes. Dang, look at this. And that trash. Side note, anyone tried that new Little Caesars Pizza Bites that have been taking over the internet? That's all I see every time I open my phone is someone posting the Pizza Bites from Little Caesars. I want to try them. Even though I'm not even that crazy on pizza, it smells like something's on fire. Take a quick scan and see if we could spot smoke rising. I mean, I don't see anything, but I definitely smell something burning. That's like very active uh, neighborhoods in here. Lots of gang activity in these streets for how nice it is. I, I like this neighborhood a lot, man. I would not mind living here, but uh, unless you have a rent controlled unit, you can basically forget about it. Even though these are gang infested streets, the rents are very high. I mean, look at this. Gang graffiti right outside of a new construction being built right now. <laughs> that doesn't say it all. Well, you know, I don't know what to tell you. What's going on back here? This is a dead end. 
actually wanted to be in this alley right here, but that's not an option. What's going on in this alley? Just a big pile of trash. We have an LAPD helicopter overhead back where we just started. That's how much ground we just covered quickly, folks. That's the park where that bird is over. Let's go ahead and make our way up out of here. All right. Well, we're gonna cross here at James M. Wood and then we're gonna descend down into the neighborhoods. We got the parking attendant out. He's out here handing out tickets. He's making money right now. Look, he's giving a ticket at this very moment. How you doing? <laughs> All right, off we go. Cutting up. Ooh. All right, we're not going to go any further south than Olympic today. Oh, God, all this broken glass. Uh, how many times have I come down this street and rode over a ton of glass <laughs> every time? Look, there's more right here. That's from someone getting broken into for sure. Okay, we got two options. Oh my God, this is, the, oh wow. This is one of those alleys I've been looking for for so long and I just forgot it was right here. We're gonna take this one as slow as we can and just check out what's going on. First off, this amount of trash has been here since right after the pandemic. It was actually clean for a bit in 2020 and then I don't know what happened. It just kind of, oh, it all came back pretty drastically too. I mean, look at this, bro, this is actually, insane this looks like it hasn't been cleaned in months months if not a year or more this actually looks like the alley that we should never ride down uh right next to macarthur park you guys know the one the one that i always talk about you can't ride down that alley i was just thinking about this it is it, it's silly that there's alleys that you can't go down you know it's like you just can't go down them that's I mean, that's that's part of life living in L.A., though. But, I mean, where I grew up in North Long Beach, there was an alley that you just could not go down. You know, like, you'd be a fool to go down at any time past, like, 5 p.m. After that, like, all bets are off. Anything can happen to you. You're bound to get checked, most likely robbed, maybe even jumped. Or who knows what, you know? There's always just bad things going on down it. And it's, it's, it's weird that that's the way things are, right? Like, alleys are, they exist as a quicker route to avoid traffic. And... Their, their whole existence is um, is basically changed by the fact that some people just take them over and then you can't go down them at all. So sort of like this one, I mean, it's just dirty and nasty and I'm probably riding over just straight up bacteria and nasty, horrible things, but there's no one in it. So it's like, I can kind of go up and down it and not feel like uh, my life's in danger, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't really feel like my life's in danger most of the places I ride, but uh, you know, you catch my drift. When there's people in there just like guarding it basically, it's like, oh, Okay, I can't go down here. Got it. Kind of weird. Just some LA politics for you anyways. We're cutting back the same way we just cut up. And my tires are just straight up. Biological warfare going down on them right now. We're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to do something to them. Anyways, if you've been catching out of the corner of your eye as we ride around, there's just gang graffiti on almost every single surface out here. It's no joke lately, people. It's just... I feel like it's getting worse and worse in this part of town. It's more active out here than it is in straight up south central and why that is i think is because there's just so much going on out here it's very dense in this part of town so it's like there's just not enough uh you know police presence to deal with all the chaos that's going on at any given time police helicopters back circling out over there too at this point we're going to start doubling back just seeing what's going on through this part of town i feel like every time i come out here it's just there's a little bit more to see there's a little bit more going on and uh it's just a little bit crazier each and every time. LA is LA is just getting a little bit wilder day by day. Here's another alley we can tear down. This one actually is very chill looking. You can actually rip down this one. Try not to run anything over. This is gonna splash me in the face. <laughs> that would suck. Oh, this is gonna straight into a jump too. It's gonna be fire. Let's see if we can pick up a little bit of speed for this. That was glass. It was probably plastic, but I barely dodged it. That did not look like it was gonna be good to run over. We're back at Olympic. I kind of want to go down this next alley. Why not, right? It's a beautiful day. It's early. We're not doing an outdoor cycle. <laughs> it's only 4 p.m. We got time. We got time today. Maybe if we can even get across the street ever. Wow. Well, I picked the wrong place to turn. There's just so much traffic right here. Holy crap. I 
Finally made it. Oh, the dog. <laughs> I was like, what is that? It's a doggy. Just ran over some glass. That ain't good. We'll see if that comes back to bite us in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Okay, now we're like in full-blown neighborhoods. We're uh, pretty close to downtown LA, actually. We could probably scoot through there. Why not, right? Very cool neighborhoods right here, though. Right in the middle of these homes, apartments, there's like uh, little corner stores. Gives me an East Coast vibe. We've been through here long ago on the Suron. Actually, back when I first got it, kind of, was the last time I came around this part. You guys remember when I was hitting that corner and a girl asked for a ride? We're exactly right there, if anyone remembers that clip. All right, we're just out having fun right now. Let's go ahead and hit this alley going uh, kind of like northbound, I guess you could say. No drugs, please. Love that. Love yourself, be happy. Love that too. What's going on, brother? How you doing? That's some beautiful messages on that alley. <laughs> the stark contrast to the insane graffiti we usually see. Okay. That's very nice. Ugh. Oh my God, just going straight through flies. Let's go ahead and just get off of this. Oh, this street is open up now. So as you can tell by all the broken glass and a little bit of trash, this entire street right here used to be lined up with RVs. You could not go down through here at all. This was totally camped up. Couldn't go through this sidewalk. Couldn't even get around it. You had to go pretty much on the other side of the street. It was full all the way to the middle of the street. Uh, times are changing though. Now it's just this one structure left. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, we got the dang this Lancer Evo has seen better days. Was that Evo 9? BBS wheels, Brembo brakes, definitely seen better days. Neglected. Even has the plate Evo MK9. I love car spotting because even when I get it terribly wrong, I'm putting the clip in anyway so you guys could roast me. I got this one right though, Evo 9. I used to be a big fan of Evos. I mean, every kid was, right? Evo 9, the old Supra, uh, what other classic cars? I don't know. Let's go ahead and shred the downtown real quick though. We're already here, basically. In Union. We'll do a hot lap through downtown just to check the pulse and uh, take it from there. We are going to hit the back streets though. I do not really want to go on the main streets to downtown. Look at this absolute bomb on this wall. They straight up have taken it over. Excuse me. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Ooh, man, come on. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> was she talking to me or the dog? I, I could not tell. I think she was talking to me, actually. I thought she was talking to the dog. Dude, that thing was about to bite my ankles. What am I supposed to do? Why is she mad at me? Dude, that's funny. Okay, we're going to go ahead and keep moving, but we're almost in downtown. Uh, hopefully, I'm not going to get my ankles bitten off by a chihuahua like almost happened right there. That was uh, something, you know? Never a dull moment out here in LA, right? Oh, look at this wall. They keep, they keep painting over this and they keep tagging it right back up. It's kind of wild. They're back up on it again. Even this. Every time I come out here, that's a different uh, different art. Pretty wild. Mean streets LA, folks. You can't trust nobody out here. Not even a lady and her tiny dog. Well, we just ended up in downtown with a quickness. Oh. All I hear is dogs, man. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's my cue to just keep it moving when I hear that dog barking coming out of a tent. Nah, I'm good. I am good. Oh, check this out. I don't know if many of you guys caught on the news, someone hijacked a bus, I think it was. They hijacked a bus and then drove it into this, the Ritz Carlton. And look, they already boarded it up. I think this is where it was. Yeah, they drove a bus like right through here, covered it up. Oh, the news is here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, if you guys see me on the news, make sure to tag me. I may be on KTLA 5 or whatever that was. I didn't need to check. Before I turned, I was like, wait, what is that bright ass light? It's kind of crazy. All right, let's take a quick hot lap through Staples. Oh, are we gated? Yep, we are. We can get around. Nice, dude. Beautiful staple center downtown LA. It's a nice day out. Not much going on here. We got an e-bike. All right. Well, here's downtown. It's a nice day. Views. 
Your helicopter. He's just kind of floating above the scene right there. You guys see that right there? I'm gonna try and punch in. What is he doing? He's just sitting there floating, looking at something. All right, well, we're gonna keep, go ahead and keep on going. We got the boys hopping out, they got monsters. Love it. All right, off we go. We're gonna double back out of the city. We came, we saw not much going on out here, honestly. Honestly, downtown LA has been pretty dead lately. There's just never anything going on out here. I feel like everything's just too expensive now. I mean, I don't go out ever. So I don't really come out here unless I'm filming. But the times that I do come out here, even in the middle of the day, I, it's pretty dead. I mean, this may look like there's some people here, but typically it's packed right here. I mean, there's also not an event going on right now, but I came here at night the other day and it was also dead. So I don't know. Anyways, we are going to start traversing back. We actually have quite a bit of ground to cover to get back where we started. So let's start moving that direction. You guys hear the helicopter? I'm pretty curious as to what it's hovering over. I checked the app and I didn't see anything in particular, so I don't know. We could just go straight onto the freeway right here, but uh, we're not. We're actually, we're actually stuck. We gotta turn around. <laughs> Look, he's over there now. Is there a protest? That's my best get. Usually when the helicopter's floating like that, there's a protest. I'm not really interested in checking that out if that's the case, but I am intrigued as to why he's hovering. He do be hovering. All right, well, we got more curb cuts. We've been blessed with these today. Oh, very nice. Well, now we are in a somewhat weird situation. We got to curb cut this. We got to get off the curb and get around this. And hopefully not get hit by a car. That works. This is one of the main, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, so that is, uh, you know, that's something. The fact that the sidewalks are no longer accessible in some parts of downtown LA, but I don't know. Anyone who knows LA knows that that's always been like that right there. It's always been a, a super pain to try and walk through there because there's always been tents. As long as I can remember, there's been tents right there. So, you know, that is what it is. I'm gonna hit this alley, which is usually interesting. We'll see how it looks today. A little bit of rocky pavement. Love that. Well, hopefully we don't run into that lady with her tiny dog again who was trying to eat me. I still can't tell if she was yelling at me or the dog. Does anyone have any insight? Oh, look at this artwork, it's sick. That's fire, I love the roses. What does that say? Uh, I can't really tell what it says. It looks incredible though, it's nice artwork. Lots more taggings over here, but we're just kind of moving along. We're gonna see a lot as we go through this part of town. This is uh, a pretty active area that we're in. Like right here, look at that. What is that helicopter doing up there? I, I'm so curious, I gotta know. We're gonna look one more time. Nothing that I can see, so I don't know. Look at this though, wow. Right in front of the crib. And they wonder why there's so many roaches in LA apartments. Well, if I had one guess, uh, I'd start there. Anyways, look at that. On the sidewalks, on the walls out here. We're in the thick of it, folks. Ugh. Yeah, don't get much more wild than where we're at right now. We're gonna start making our way out of this area. <laughs> this is uh, don't get caught here after dark. That's one way I'd put it for sure. Don't get caught here after dark. Excuse me. Okay, and that's one reason we always ride the Suron because we can get in and out immediately. We don't have to be anywhere any amount longer than how long we have to be there. We do our riding and we get out. That's <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's about it. Oops, come on me. I'm just trying to get out of here <laughs> in one piece. Oh, you can't even walk down the sidewalk right here. They got it closed off. To walk in this street, sometimes it's hectic. Traffic comes flying down there uh, certain times of the day. Let me go ahead and cut up third. That was a hell of a tour. We just uh, did it in low key record time, too. Or at least as fast as uh, as I could think about hitting it. Going northbound on 6th Street, one of my favorite routes to take out of the city. We're on Union Ave, Union Drive behind us. If I was on my BMX, I would be sidewalk surfing through the shops, but we're not. We're actually going to take Burlington northbound. 
Uh oh, a little bit of drama. Save the drama for your mama. A little crazy right here. This is how I almost got smacked at the very beginning of the ride. Let's go ahead and take this alley. Why not? Let's save us a little bit of time. You no, know, it smells absolutely wild back here. Always watch this corner right there. I barely dodged it <laughs> until the very last second I saw it. So the impulse to ride this bike as fast as I can is just, it's, it's constant. So that's why I don't really want to make this bike much faster, but like, I almost feel like I need to slow down more. <laughs> I get myself in these situations where there's no time left to react. And uh, I'm just thankful that things panned out the way that they did. I get, and when you're going this fast on this bike, it's just like, that's just, you're entering yourself into the situation and just praying that you come out the other side unscathed. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense, but we're going to make this left right here. And go this way. Wow. What a ride. We're not done yet. When I went to pick up this bike, I went and filmed some stuff in North Hollywood. I'm going to roll that real quick. Remember, uh, right when you thought that, uh, you know, we're not even on fake today. Take a look at this. Wild. <laughs> we're a long way from Figaro, folks. We're out here in North Hollywood. Nowhere is safe. Genuinely, what are the odds of that? <laughs> So I'm out here in North Hollywood because I had, I come out here to this bike shop called GNK. Amazing bike shop. If you own a Suron, it is the, it is a spot for simple things like uh, tube replacements, spoke tightening. A lot of bike shops will just not even, you know, deal with the Suron at all. So it's nice to have one that at least will, you know, take a look at it. <laughs> he can do most things. I do suggest him not an ad, not a hashtag ad, just a place that I, do my business at and i recommend fully g and k bike shops out here in north hollywood uh, so i figured while i'm out here let's go ahead and take a quick tour i don't ever really ride north hollywood i mean it's a little crazy like this this is uh interesting uh because it's uh it's you know it's just it's very boring right that's the best way i can put it i tried to make videos in north hollywood before i just don't really like riding out here to be honest it's just not that fun it's nice because it's flat but the two things I don't like is that one, the cars, everybody drives so insane out here, man. It's stressful just trying to get around with how fast everyone drives. And two, well, there's just not really anything to do. I'm gonna be honest. I guess it'd be fun if you weren't trying to make an entertaining Saran video. Like there's plenty of stuff to do in that sense. But as far as like for me, I mean, I don't know. There's not that much to do. That guy just blew that red light. Holy, he was humming too. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of thinking about doing it too, but you gotta remember out here, it's not worth it at all. The chance of your fate with these cars, man, they will blow right past you and keep going. Not stopping one day. Well, that that was actually like I couldn't. <laughs> my I thought my eyes were deceiving me. That was uh, that is exactly uh, you know that's some that's some big activity over here in North Hollywood. <laughs> hey man, it's just uh, <laughs> I don't know. The trend is taking over, you know. Who would have guessed that? I, I hey man, I was I, that was not something I thought we'd saw out here on a ride today, but oh my god. Yep, spokes are nice and tight. Tire pressure solid. Bike feels decent. What is there to do out here? There's a park across the street. We're gonna check that out real quick. Why not? I get scared in this traffic, man. These cars are going fast. <laughs> this is like a main road too. It's called Lancashire. We got the in and out right there. That's the worst in and out in the entire city, as far as I'm concerned. It's pretty much always a 45 minute wait. No bueno. Anyways, can we just go up in here? Locked. How do you get in there? Is there a way into this park? Is there a way into the park to ride it? Oh, ride in there, I don't think so, dude. So no? Ride in there or not? Oh, okay, thanks. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I guess it is like a community center type of thing. I don't know. Anywho, also believe it or not, North Hollywood is uh, got some pretty active gang activity. It's very concentrated in these tiny little areas though. And we're kind of, we're pretty much near one of them. So there's this one spot 
a few blocks radius right around here where we're at. Where this is like where all the drama goes down, right? Anytime I've seen uh, multiple police helicopters off, police blocking the road. That video we had from a few months ago where the cop was asking me about this, uh, this bike at night, if any of you guys remember that, that was right here. That was right here at this intersection. Uh, and that was from a man barricaded with a deadly weapon inside of an apartment. And then last time, before that, over here, there was a huge crime scene right here at this uh, this house right here that's gated off. What does this say? Vacated building do not enter by order of the Department of Building and Safety. Yeah, it was right here. There's someone who got uh, 187 in broad daylight right here. Um, funky apartments right there. Oh, is this... Is this looks like the bottom look the bottom is boarded up but the top looks accessible interesting what cracks me up is then you have like $3,500 apartments right here look at that I mean super funky neighborhood here honestly there's uh not much to see out here so we're only checking this out for a second before we head further south into the city for today but just wanted to show you guys some nooks and crannies out here in the valley during the daytime last time we were out here at night so Look at that raven. Damn, that's a big bird. Look how big this bird is. That's a big old bird. Got the old school Supra. Dang. I haven't seen one of these in a while. My neighbor had one of these in North Long Beach when I was growing up. Fire. So yeah, this entire area, it's just, it's straight up just neighborhoods. It almost feels like suburbia-ish. So there's not much to do here. Yo, crack up at this. This is, look, look, just look at the juxtaposition of what's going on right here. I'm gonna do a one take so you guys can get an idea of what it's like. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure this house is probably $2 million if this is a house. If it's an apartment, probably like seven, 8,000 a month at least, maybe 10. Gang tagging right there. Construction right here. And then we have 1960 style apartments right next to it. It just doesn't make sense to me. We got some dingbats right here. If you know dingbats, that's the, and then bam. Kind of what I sense people think when, I, when they look at me when I'm out here. More out here than anywhere else, man. North Hollywood is especially like, uh, it's very active, man. It doesn't seem like that, but it is. Anyways, all right, so from here, we're going to shoot back to Lancashire. So I can't believe there's employees on uh, in North Hollywood now. <laughs> if you catch my drift, employees. That, uh, I mean, I don't really come out here, but I didn't know that was a thing. I, <laughs> maybe someone can fill me in. That's, uh, that's news to me. This is a line from in and out from prior experience. I'd say from this point, he's looking at like a 30-minute wait, and look how short it is. Three, four, five, six cars. Okay, around. Just right here. Yeah, about 30 minutes, I'd say. That's how inefficient this one is. It just ain't the spot. <laughs> I don't know, like riding out here, I guess. I can, I can hardly formulate thoughts because I'm so focused on the road. I'm trying not to get absolutely murked. Oh, man. Hey, how are you? <laughs> okay, well, you know. All right, well. One other thing that I always notice when I come out here to Hollywood, North Hollywood, whatever this place is called, Studio City, I don't really know. This camp, some days it's here, some days it's completely gone. Pretty interesting. One month I'll drive through there and it's completely wiped out. Like a clean sidewalk. And then the next time that I come this way, it'll be packed. It'll be completely the sidewalks covered. You can not even ride through it like how I just did. And then two weeks later, it's gone again. I don't know. That's a hot spot for some reason. I don't know why they keep picking that spot if they keep getting kicked out. But I really have no idea. Got another boarded up building. Abandoned, maybe? Hard to say. It's like, dude. Have you guys heard of that guy who, uh, in California, he's like the squatter hunter and he's kicking out squatters. This looks like it was, it's prime for squatting. Look, they even took the boarding off the front of the door. They removed it probably so they could try and get in. They'll do anything to try and get into these abandoned buildings out here, man, I swear. Squatting, who, I, that wasn't a thing when I was a kid. I, or at least I never heard about it, squatting. But yeah, this guy goes around, he has a YouTube channel apparently, and he just, uh, he gets a lease from the owner of the property. And then he just lives with the squatters and makes them uncomfortable till they leave. <laughs> That's a pretty brilliant idea, but uh, also probably not that fun. <laughs> Guys on like a righteous mission though, but squatters is a huge problem out here. Who would have seen that coming? Well, good old LA, right? That's it folks, what a day back. Electrifying first ride. I am, uh, you know, gotta get back in the saddle one way or another, right? Today was a pretty good day for that. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Remember hicksfan.com, first link in the description if you want a chance to win my Suron every dollar spent, answers you wants to win. Other than that, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video very soon.
Peace out.